can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl up at the swoop place. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find you there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes, I can see you do not lack an ability, although modesty is another matter. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the Exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Good luck. You're going to need it. The entrance to the base is sealed up tight. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kandorus sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! It's over, Dweeb! Are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing is it you? You have to do better than that to impress us, Stranger! What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Slime rat. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big league. I give you the mysterious stranger! to shy away from the cold, hard truth. 
So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. There's a legend in the sport. A 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for... No! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Marl is down! And questions abound! Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Which is waiting in the wings? Do you dare take a shot at a champion himself? Will the wild eye wonder finally be unseated? Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest, so I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. I'm fresh. Azur will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the Force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just cause you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the? Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun kasha chona si ichua biongbo joni mina mambo mule ra hakugri katgota la parabola. 
Tonga book sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin Mokao dang ya po kin chachiska to punta kakaspaka vano oto Wata wama muliri kin kun shopeshwa no, Bamule Raji, Jone Yuturi Yanchi, either Bola Unchi Chinek, 